I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and the dog dip it! Well, I guess we're gonna see if everything's working, cause... How can I avoid- Oh, I wish I could keep this little guy. There must be, I think, a zombie spawner right by where I am. Where is this guy? I'm gonna die. This happens a lot on this server. Who's shooting me? Holy smoke, look at that. Okay, um, where, what? Okay, I need to put up a thing. Oh, uh, that's not a thing. That's a thing. Now I need to eat, because things are trying to kill me. And there's always a creeper up there. Look at that. This, by the way, was all pretty much covered when I moved in. But I, it was kind of, uh, not very well developed ravine. And I thought, what the heck? Um, boy, I sure wish I could get that creeper. I have a trashy bow and not too many arrows. Ha ha. Oh, God. <laughs> well, there, what do you call it? Griefing is turned off. Mob griefing. I always am here at night. It's never daytime. Well, usually it's pretty safe under here, but right now I'm being a dork because I'm trying to record. As soon as all this to do is over, I'll tell you where I am. Um. Anybody remember Vixie? Yeah, Vixie. I could never pronounce her um in-game name Bodrids or something like that. I don't know. She was over by Vixie. Remember her from Queercraft? Remember her from my server? Remember her from whatever you remember her from? Well, this is her server. You send me a message, I will tell you where it is. And some of y'all, she liked you a lot, and it's perfectly fine for you to be on the server. But you know that gang of freaks from, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, those nasty little fanboy trolls from Zoomavoid server? Remember them? Remember the trouble they caused on. Oh, queer craft and Irish char, char, how is it pronounced? And where else did they cause trouble? I don't even remember now because I had to leave all those servers because they kept causing trouble. Hello. Look at all the skeletons in here. This is kind of under spawn. Look at this. These are invisible barrier. You jerk. Get away, get away, get away. Um, like invisible barrier blocks. I'm right under spawn. Isn't that wild? So I thought it'd be nice to have like something covered in ice. And if I ever, 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 I just got here today. So this is all stuff I've done today. But if I ever get, um, silk touch, I'm going to swipe as much of this ice as I can. Oh, there's spawn. So I can't go too close. But, hey, Piter. You know, I don't got any string, and there was one, what do you call, one sheep over there on the other side of this bridge that I built, and it was so sad that, oh, you know, I should turn the chat off, hold on, I forgot, options, multiplayer, chat, commands only, okay, yeah, because that's not cool, because you know, people's privacy. Oh, and sounds. I can turn sounds back up because I had them way down. Because Vixie also has a team speak. Yeah. So, and I'm very comfortable here. Um, she's really glad that I'm here. And she's British and they don't be, and she's also kind of shy and stuff. Um, so they don't be real, um, well, it depends on the class and stuff, but She's the kind of British person that isn't real pushy and she kind of like will drop a little hint. It might also be because she studies Japanese. Japanese people are real careful about not being real direct about what they want. Anyway, Vixie does not um, order people around or say, hey, you should do this or whatever. But I think Vixie's wanted me to play on this server for quite some time. She's glad I'm over here by spawn. She seems to think that I will build something nice at spawn. Let's hope she's not wrong. You know what I ought to do? I'm never up here at the daytime. 
I'm always up here getting my hiney kicked at night. What I ought to do, oh, it's going to, well, I don't know, it's going to be dark that soon. I ought to get some wheat because I know where there's a cow. And I know where there's another sheep. I don't have a bed yet, you know. This is a problem. So when I die, I spawn up there. You can do that um, uh, slash back command, and you can also do the home command. I've got my home set here. Oh, this is my little ravine away from ravine. I need boots. I don't have enough iron, do I? Oh, wait. Yeah, I cooked the iron. I use saplings. That's right. I have just enough to make me some dang boots. I should probably make me an iron pick, too, but this is the most important thing. Because I managed to grub together some armor, but my feet, you know, feet. Okay, this doesn't, that goes up there. So I should try to get cows and stuff, but by the time I get done fooling around here, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be night, and things will be trying to eat my head. Oops, that's not, I don't want to put those in here. I'll never find them again. Shovelers. Because shovelers are important. I hear feet. This is not good. Where are the feet? I hear feet. Where are the feet? Where are the feet? Also, I have a sneaky suspicion that there might be, might, might, might be a, a zombie dungeon. But I'm not really sure. There's something weird about the way the could he spawn here? So, oh, I should put my boots on, right? Yep. Um, cause I hit a creeper and a creeper acted just like, this is version 1.7.4, I should say, also, just so you know. Um, I hit a creeper and when I turned around, there were four other creepers. What? Oh, God, I'm still picking up chat. Um, chat, 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 multiplayer settings, commands only, chat hidden, okay, okay, back to game. Alright, now what was I doing? Putting things away, which is why I always end up not leaving when I want to leave. Wheat. Wheat is over here. So I'm kind of like, you see I'm cutting this out so that I will have sunshine coming in during the day. It's really funny to watch moths fall down and die. So yeah, Vixie. And Eleanor is here. Ow. And I can't remember his name, Thunder. Remember him from Crap? Yep. And I don't know who all else is here. Um, there's a few people that I wish were here. It's people who were at Queercraft and went through similar things to what I went through. Because I'm just going to say it. The guy who owns Queercraft is a bully. And he made a lot of people miserable. And it's really sad because they put in a lot of work and a lot of time on what they did. But it's just too hard to be there. It's just really hard to be there. My mouse is acting up. So if I'm wobbly, I apologize. I'm not sure it's the mouse. I think it's because the bedspread might be lumpy. I'm not sitting in bed, but um, I'm sitting in a chair right next to the bed. I really think that there, see there's a cow. Now what happened to the sheep was, I accidentally, where's the wheat? I swear I got wheat. Is that another cow over there? Look, 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 look. Uh, something up there. I think it's just dirt. Um, so now I have to go all the way back. Oh, another cool thing she's got. When you chop down a tree, if you use an axe to do it, not if you punch it by hand. Chop down a tree with an axe. She's got a bucket mod that replants the tree. Because she didn't want the um, landscape torn up by people chopping down trees and not replacing them. So that's cool. You get to keep all your saplings to use to smelt things. Um in a straight line, chop trees as I go. I know I said I was going to go get wheat, but it makes sense to make me a clear little path right here. I'm just starting to grow pumpkins. There's a community farm at the spawn, but she's only got like eight, five, six, eight something pumpkins growing. So, you know, that's not going to be enough for me. But I'm taking what, see, the tree replanted itself. Isn't that neat? 
Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. <clears throat> so I've got my little pumpkin farm going, but it's just, again, it's my first day. I've never even slept. I've either gotten killed at night or I just kept working, you know? My home is set right there at the ravine. It's got that kind of plug-in, too. You know, Vixie's really good at Minecraft server plugins and stuff. And it makes sense for her to have a server. And since I can't afford a server yet, um, and frankly, I don't really need the administrative headache of running one, it makes sense for me to throw in with Vixie. We're both very low income. We both got a lot of stuff in common. For instance, her server is completely safe place for people with disabilities, people of color, um, LGBTQI people, so on and so forth. Um, no bullying and that kind of junk is allowed. You know, there were issues with that on QueerCraft. I got a lot of um, junk from people who are ignorant about disabilities. Yeah. So, uh, it's pretty safe space. No bullying. There's a lot of grief protection stuff that she's put on the server. To make sure people's stuff is safe. I think there's even private um, chests. I don't think she's done something like, um, oh, you know, where you do that plot thing where you can um, mark your space so that nobody can um, go to your house kind of thing. She hasn't done that. But she's done. She's put some safeguards in place to make sure that um, people can't mess with the space. Um, you know, some people that left QueerCraft did some really nasty stuff to Bo. That was his name, Bo. Um, I can understand being mad at the guy. He's not a pleasant person. Um, real bossy, controlling, that kind of stuff. Uh, but you just don't go around wrecking other people's property, you know. And Bo owns his server. So there were a few jerks like that. And I hope that kind of thing doesn't happen to Vixie. But I don't think it will because Vixie's such a nice person. And she had lots of friends when she worked as a... I don't remember if she was an op or... I don't remember what her title was on both server, but, um, she had lots of friends. Oh, the other thing is, uh, Vixie's going to be, in fact, she already is, producing her own radio, or the server is, so there will be a radio show, um, and there's already people taking charge of it and running it. Uh, it has its own team speak. Oh, what else does it have that was cool that was from other servers and stuff? I don't know. Anyway, she's just getting it started. It's an, only a few months old, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. It has a really good plot world. She was hoping I'd show up because she uh, designed the plot world kind of, sort of, for me, which is very flattering. Um, unless she's just lying. Um, I don't think she's lying. Uh... Maybe I was like her lab rat guinea pig when she saw the way I used things on both server. And then when she decided to put up her own server, and also from helping me with my server, she decided what we need is X, Y, and Z for um, creative. So there is a plot me world. I don't know what its capacity is. I haven't even been there yet. It's like I said, it's my first day in real life on this server ever. So, I'm just getting the hang of it. I gotta go, because things want to kill me. Where's my sword? These guys hit hard. I don't know what hardness level this thing is set at. But I'm struggling. I am. I get killed frequently. Um. So, what else? So, radio. Oh, and she's got one of those DJ thingies. Uh, so... See, a lot of people want to stay in the kind of community thing. There are people come here. She has an IRC chat as well as TeamSpeak. And a lot of people come here just to hang out with each other. They're not even playing Minecraft, you know? Because, um, let's face it, for some of us, each other is the only safe place we've got. Very community-minded. Not like other places where everybody's competing with each other and so on. This is a community kind of a server. So hopefully those freaks from that followed me to other servers like Nymershar and um, 
uh, Bose server and where else did they fall? Oh, they followed me all over the internet. And they were little fanboys of Zuma and fanboys of Flipcrafter. Uh, I'm just going to mention names now because there's no reason for me to lie. Um, and it's better if people know what actually happened because that's a way of protecting myself because, you, you know, if you got secrets, then people can mess with you. But if you're honest about your life, then people can't mess with you as bad. So I'm not going to lie about it. Um, it was friends of Zuma's. Or they're not even friends. They just wanted, wanted his attention and approval. So they didn't just hurt me on these other servers. They hurt the server owners and the other players and that sort of thing. So I had to leave a lot of those servers. I voluntarily left. They didn't ask me to. Nobody asked me to leave. I voluntarily left though because I could see what was happening and I could see that it was going to be trouble and you know these server owners were just trying to earn a modest little decent income and it wasn't fair to them that these um, animals you know predators were coming onto the server and oh building lag machines and what else did they do um, uh, wearing skins that were racist and um, trapping like portals and stuff like that they would watch my videos and see where I went and what I did and they would go behind me when I wasn't on the server and cause all kinds of damage and it was really bad it was really really bad so I just voluntarily left a lot of those servers without even really you know I didn't ask the people who ran the servers I just did it because I knew it was the right thing to do because it wasn't fair to them to have these fools coming up, tearing up their stuff, you know. I know how hard it is to run a server. In fact, I don't even know how hard it is, even though I had a server. The reason I don't know how hard it is is because I had um, people who were doing a lot of the hard grunt work for me, at, you know, administering the actual server and operating it. So I didn't have to. Um, but just from my own personal experience, I know that this isn't an easy job and it's hard to ice skate while skeletons are shooting at you. It's just like hockey, man. They just run me all over the place out here. Now, why am I going out here at night? Because I'm dumb. Oh, I want to knock you in. Oh, I want to knock you in. You're going to... Why is this? You're going to go a bad way, aren't you, though? And make my life hard? Yeah. I know. Now you're going to call all your friends because this is 1.74. And there's no such thing as one zombie. Hear him? Do I have food? Yeah, I have food and I have armor. I'm a lot less squishy than I was the last time it was night, that's for sure. Still can't see where the crap is. But... Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Well, see, I'm out here slowly making my way back to where I was. Because... Why not? Because in the morning... Come here, give me that helmet. Give me that helmet. Give me that helmet. You look silly in that thing. Everybody looks silly in leather. Well, in this game. You may not look silly in leather in real life or something, but in this game you just look ridiculous. He looks like he's wearing a punk... Oh, no, a punk and a... Mushroom on his head. Oh, I see spider eyes over there. I say, why don't we just go, you know... They're just gathering over here. Now, I don't remember if 1.74 was the beginning of um, Cooties getting meaner the longer you stay in place. I don't remember. There's an interverse. That would be nice. Yep, I would like that. More zombies. Good lord, they hit hard. And fast. I'm in the water. Really? I can't back up. And a glitch, of course. Because why wouldn't you glitch when you're out here in the middle of the water? Surrounded by bad guys. How many of them are there? One, two, three. You really think you have time to be counting these guys? They attract me better in this version. 1.8.1, they don't know where you are. You see that zombie tilted its head when I went underwater? Yeah, 1.8.1 has some issues with tracking. Oh, that's another thing I should tell you is that, um... Um, I keep wanting to call her by her real life name and I shouldn't do that. Uh, Vixie 
is upgrading this to 1.8.1 soon. But I'm in here with Optifine on. I've got a pretty good connection. I have all my bars, which is more than I can say for either Zombie Cleo's server or um, Fault Symmetries. So I'm pretty happy with the quality of the server. I mean, I'm never going to have good luck on servers because my upload speed is just too low. I can't communicate with um, Minecraft the way it was designed, you know. My sword died. I'm going to beat things to death. I guess I'm going to beat things to death with, um... Hey, I can actually put some on that ice. With string. I guess I want to kill them with string. Come on, you guys. Let me... I'm not making very much progress, am I? La, la, la. Um... Could I please, like, walk now? Oh, good. The moon's setting. That's good. So this must be west. Did I ever get wheat? I bet I didn't, did I? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I didn't get wheat, did I? I'm out here to get cows and I forgot the wheat again, didn't I? Ha ha ha. Here me good. Here they come. Holy guacamole! Will you look at the welcoming committee? I'm leaving. Oh god, I need to eat. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Run. You can't run, you don't have enough food. I hear sticky feet right behind me. Yeah, I'm not getting very far very fast, but when does that ever bother me? Do I have wheat? I didn't even look, did I? I have bones, don't need them. Got lots of saplings. Uh, okay, run, get wheat, and don't get distracted this time. That keeps happening. I keep trying to go over there and get cows and stuff. And I end up all distracted and goofing around doing things I'm not supposed to do. And, you know. All right. Boy, my garden sure is doing well. Especially since I cleared that out. There was a little bit of that hole up there. But I made it a lot more whole. Because sunshine in the daytime. You know. Just for the crops. It's also funny to watch the mops fall. Sometimes they go in the water, but sometimes they just freaking fall, you know? And it's flat, and I'll look down, and all of a sudden I've got gunpowder or rotten flesh or something I don't really need, but thanks. Now, you're going out here without a sword. Yeah, but I don't want to waste any more time goofing around. I have an axe. It's okay. Axes are fine. I just built a little bridge here. Let's also dig some of this out. I'd like that clay. So yeah, like, drop me a note and let me know if you're some of the old crew that used to hang. Um, if you'd like to play on Bixie's server and I'll hook you up. Um, you can you can donate to the server and I think I probably will. Um, and you can play for free, of course. I don't know that you get any special perks for donating, it's just that chickens. It's just that it's a really good idea that Pixie finds some ways to earn some income. Any more cows? I hear one. I swear I heard more than one. Am I sitting on the cat? The cat squeaked. I'm not sure what that meant. Is there another cow besides you? Oh, the cat! Can you hear the little popping sound? The cat unplugged my microphone. So, the rest of this, I'm just going to wing it and post. If the audio sounds different, that's why, because I'm recording this after and not in-game. Also, let me know about the audio quality. I recorded the first one in-game, and this is being recorded separately on the same microphone. But you get it. There are other cows up there. I just couldn't see them very well. I should have pulled those saplings out so that I could make a little path. It'd be nice to take some of that wood and make slabs so that it's easy to climb the hill. Or tunnel under the hill? No, not really because it's um, extreme hills and stuff and you need to climb up. But a little path here wouldn't be stupid. But it has to be pretty. I'd make it with slabs and old fence posts probably and, you know, make it cute. I'd make it wide enough for horses and stuff. Here's that partially cut down tree. I don't know if I remember. Have 
off the tree. I saw what happened with that wheat. I tried to grab it, and the game didn't know what my mouse was telling it to do, and the game did not pick up the wheat. I'm having a real hard time communicating with this game. And apparently I always have. It hasn't been necessarily that my equipment has been very bad, although my equipment hasn't been the greatest and still isn't. But it's more about, at this point I'd have to say, it's my connection and my upload speed are really keeping me from doing stuff. Working on the camera angle so I don't tilt my view too high or too low so the action of the video is framed pretty well. I don't know how well I'm doing. You know I never did find what happened here. Mm -hmm. I put the cow here and I went to go get some blocks and stuff. Apparently that's ice. I just mm -hmm. can't see it because that after I got done recording this um, that had melted and there's a little waterfall from putting that torch there, so I couldn't see the ice, but apparently that's ice. It's not barrier blocks or um. So I went to get blocks to block in the cow. When I got back, the cow was gone. I didn't hear it fall. I don't know. You know, it's really cheap and unprofessional to just record while you're playing on the same micro uh, excuse me on the same recording software that is recording see where's the cow what hello hello i don't know it's so it's a cheap dirty trick to have bandicam set to record my voice and game sound and of course there's all kinds of problems with that because there's feedback and distortion and um also, I find it very distracting to have to talk while I'm trying to play the game. So it's easier for me to do commentary and post. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get very good audio quality with the equipment I've got right now, so I do a little bit of stuff in post. I add a little... that's not a jack winner. I add a little uh, bass to it and adjust the treble so it's not quite so hissy. And stuff like that. Uh, sometimes I do noise cancellation. I really can't on the previous bit, the previous audio because it's mixed in with game sounds. This I probably can. I edit out when I cough and things like that. So that's fun. That's where you come in. You're inside though. You don't actually see the outside part. I'm since I made this video, I'm kind of starting to dig out under this ice because I think it would make a really nice welcome kind of center for people coming to my base to have it all nicely hollowed out with the ice letting sorry I banged the microphone with the ice letting some light come through and also at night you can see light shining through the ice so you know there's something down here I dug all that out that was all pretty much solid little narrow strip you see it's a kind of a, a very incomplete um, ravine I bet it goes someplace though so there I am, Dolorum server. Give me a holler if you'd like to join. Got a lot of good stuff. Radio station, DJ, Team Speak, Vixie. You know, cool place. Bye. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. See ya. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go on